Chapter 17, Part 3, Translation. Vous auriez dû y faire attention. Well, here we've got devoir conjugated with the conditional of avoir. And so that you would have been, or you would have had, y faire attention. Faire attention is to pay attention, and then to, y means to it. You would have had to pay attention to it. Nous aurons parlé d'un nouveau sujet. So now we have the helping verb in the future. So we will have spoken about a new subject. Il était nécessaire qu'il parla. So here we have il était nécessaire que, uh, an impersonal subject. It was necessary that, that requires a subjunctive, that il parla, that he was talking, that's uh, the sub the imperfect of the subjunctive, so we can translate that. It was necessary that he talked, or he had to talk, or he had to speak, something like that. Um, something indicating that the, he felt this necessity uh, sometime in the past. Fut-il l'homme le plus charmant du monde? Je ne le croirais pas. Okay, so this is the fut-il l'homme. This is the, it looks like the, um, imperfect of the subjunctive, but it's not in a clause that requires the subjunctive, so it's the second form of the conditional, and it's a present conditional with um, inversion. Il is a subject, it's etre, so even if he were the, uh, the man, the most charming of the world, so even if he was the most charming man in the world, uh, je ne le croirai pas, croire, that comes from croire, has the imperfect ending on it, so I would not believe him. So even if he were the most charming man in the world, I would not believe him. Okay, now we have, Il ne se fut reposé plus longtemps, mais il voulait tellement travailler. So here we have the verb, se reposer, to rest, um, plus longtemps, longer, and it's conjugated with etre because it's a reflexive verb. And here we've got etre in the, uh, uh, it looks like the imperfect of the subjunctive, but uh, really it's the second form of the conditional. Um, so this is the conditional past, second form of the conditional past tense. He would have rested longer, mais il voulait tellement travailler, but he wanted so much to work. Uh, he would have rested longer, but he so much wanted to work. Okay, now this last crazy sentence. On tolera le présent du subjunctif. So one will tolerate the present of the subjunctive, or we could say the present of the subjunctive will be tolerated. We can change that to the passive voice. Um, au lieu de, instead of, or in the place of, uh, the imperfect. Now, we know it's imperfect of the subjunctive because... Uh, we're talking about the present of the subjunctive, and we can use the present of the subjunctive instead of the imperfect of the subjunctive. In the proposition, so that would be clauses, proposition subordonné is in the dependent clauses or in the subordinate clauses that depend on the, the clauses of which the main verb is in the conditional. Example. Il faudrait, so that would be, that's the conditional of falloir, it is necessary that he comes or that he uh, uh, would come. We might be able to translate it, or that he came. Um, so, and this is a ministerial decree of July 31st, 1900, um, modified by the ministerial decree of February 26th, 1901. Now, we can't really translate these real well. I translated example, it would be necessary that he come or that he came. Now, notice that in English, we could say it would be necessary that he comes, or like here, it would be necessary that he come. Uh, that he comes is using the indicative. That he come is using the subjunctive in English.